let's welcome the new 911 GD3 RS, everyone. Tell us a little bit more about the car. Let's welcome Nikki Lim, our Porsche Pro. Hello, everyone. A very good afternoon to fellow Porsche enthusiasts. My name is Nikki. I am a Porsche Pro for Porsche Singapore, and it is my greatest honor to present to you the latest and the greatest 911 GT3 RS. So, through this presentation, I would be mentioning for the first time a couple of times, but for the very first time, we are actually doing away with the three radiator setup on the regular 911s and we are replacing it with a motorsport derived radiator which came from the 991 GT3 R cars. So if you take a look at the nostrils over here, there are boomerang fins all the way up here to divert the hot air all the way to the side while allowing for cool, clean air to be diverted directly into the engine intake at the rear. So, at the front, this also frees up additional space for the active aero flaps. So if, you, if we were to take a look at the side, there are fins all over here, which look and actually perform like they were originally intended to. They actually release wheel pressure being built up on the wheel wells and diverts the air to our newly sculpted carbon fiber doors all the way to the air intakes which were previously on the 911 Turbo S being fed into the intercoolers. But right now, this, this flap is only feeding air and directing air all the way to the rear for extra aerodynamics. So we also have extra fins on the top of the car to prevent the hot air being diverted from spilling back into the top of the car which cool air is present. On the rear, for the very first time, we have F1 derived technology, DRS drag reduction system, which would allow the adaptive spoiler to be moved and synchronized with the front aero flaps in conjunction to how much downforce the car actually requires. So for the first time, this is the largest wing ever to be built on a 911 car. We have never seen such a huge wing before, spanning a width of 6 feet. And while we are in the back, I would also like to mention a little bit about the engine. So the engine is a 4 litre naturally aspirated engine with reworked motor, motorsport camshafts, pushing an extra 15 horsepower out from the engine. So moving to the interior, the part which interests me the most, for the very first time, instead of a single dial on the steering wheel, we actually have four different dials allowing for adjustments of the compression, the rebound, the differential settings, and also seven stages of traction control. All these can be tweaked via the dials without having the need to climb under the car on your regular track days. At the same time, this car is also all about lightweight and aerodynamics. So for the first time ever, we have a carbon fiber roll cage together along with the carbon fiber bucket seats and this would actually put out 1450 kg on the car the weight of the car would be 1450 kg and this would allow for 860 kilograms of downforce at 285 kilometers per hour that is equivalent to two horses sitting on the car while you are overtaking everyone else on the streets all in all i don't want to hold you guys back too much uh, but my favorite feature, my last and final favorite feature, is the signal lights at the side. If you were to take a look at the signal lights later on, the signal lights are only at the back because all other cars will be behind you on this car. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. I know you're all excited to go out and drive. So please, drive safe, have fun, and have a good time at Porsche World Road Show. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Nikki. And we have one last thing to do, which is start the car up, start her up. We're going to drive it over to this side, over here on your right.